When it comes to wildlife, the Philippines is one of the most diverse on the planet. The several thousand islands of the Philippines are home to a spectacular range of colorful, rare, and fascinating creatures. On land, water, and in the air, the country has a vast range of animals and flora. We've already talked about a few of them in one of the previous videos. If you haven't seen it, click the pop-up above. Make sure you've watched it since, for this video, we've omitted animals that we've already mentioned. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. Now here are 10 rare animals animals only found in the Philippines Part 2. Number 10. Cebu Limbless Worm Skink Little is known about the Cebu Limbless Worm Skink, however, two were found under leaves along a river bank and they are the only ones that are known to exist. They're said to be located on the islands that make up the Sulu region and are one of only five limbless reptile species known to exist. They are mysterious creatures that are quite tiny overall, growing to only approximately 7.4 centimeters in length. They have around 24 rows of scales in their mid-body. Their upper portions are dark brownish in hue and they have a reddish and pale underside. This species habitat is lowland forest litter, loose soil, decomposing logs, or any other dry rotting material found on forest grounds. Possibly due to habitat loss, these skinks are quite rare and seem to never have been caught on video. Number 9. Philippine Cockatoo Also known as the Red Vented Cockatoo, the Philippine Cockatoo can be seen flying in the islands of Palawan, Tawi-Tawi, and Maspate. The white plumage and reddish undertail of the Philippine cockatoo give them an extremely appealing appearance. Even more appealing are their underwing feathers, which are a pale yellowish tint in color. These rare birds have a very distinct bleeding call, as well as the regular shrieking and whistling noises that common cockatoos make. They are known for their ability to imitate humans. They can talk, sing, and even dance, making them extremely coveted among pet owners. They were once common on most of the Philippines' major and smaller islands, but because of unlawful poaching, they are classified by the IUCN, which is the International Union for Con conservation of nature as being critically endangered. Another factor contributing to the population loss is that these birds are actually considered locally to be pests and are commonly killed or trapped by farmers in order to safeguard their crops from damage. Number 8. Luzon Peacock Swallowtail These butterflies are only found in the Luzon and Mindoro region of the Philippines and were originally described as two separate species. But because it was later found that there were no significant differences between the two butterflies, Flies hailing from the two different regions, authorities have decided to treat them as a single species. Their wings are mostly black, but are dotted with tiny bluish green spots that make them look like they're sparkling. Their hind wings make a unique tail and also features pops of bright colors. As for their eating and spawning habits, swallowtails eat the leaves of trees and flowers and lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves. The Luzon peacock swallowtails are said to fly all year, but are still pretty easy easy to catch. Unfortunately, like many on this list, these rare creatures are currently classified as endangered species by the IUCN and are thankfully also classified as illegal to trade. Number 7. Lobbed River Mullet The lobbed river mullet, or locally known as ludong, is a species of mullet that live in fresh water. They are known for their distinct flavor and scent after being cooked, making them extremely sought after for the preparation of delectable food. They are the most costly fish in the country with a mature fish weighing around 0.25 kilograms to 2 kilograms and costing 4,000 to 5,000 pesos per kilo. Because it is seasonal and difficult to catch, it commands a premium market price. While the lobbed river mullet is said to be endemic to the Cagayan River Basin, verifiable and credible reports have listed areas such as Fiji as places where they can be found. Because of their precarious status, the ludong is actually on the verge of becoming an endangered species. In fact, data acquired from Cagayan fish dealers revealed that the volume of ludong capture has been steadily declining year after year. Number 6. Negros Bleeding Heart The Negros Bleeding Heart Pigeon is found in the islands of Negros and Panay. They get their name from a bright red or sometimes orange patch of feathers on the bird's breast that resembles a puncture wound. Unlike other bleeding heart species, the patch on the Negros Bleeding Heart is narrower. They grow up to a total length of 10 inches and forages for fruit and other invertebrates on the forest floor for food. These ground feeders always come in pairs or a flock and only fly in response to being 
frightened or to avoid danger. This species has a very small and severely fragmented population that is likely to continue declining due to forest loss on the two islands where it lives. Because these birds always travel together and hunt for food on the floor, they are easily caught by poachers. Due to these factors, the species is unfortunately classified as critically endangered. We're now halfway through our video. If you're still with us, comment the Philippine flag emoji down below. Number 5. The Mindoro Tree Frog The Mindoro Tree Frog is a unique frog species indigenous to the island of Mindoro. It lives in the lowland forests of the tropical island and ranges in size from 14 to 22 inches in length. These frogs can be found in a range of hues from brilliant green to greenish gray or even yellow green. Their stomachs are usually white or cream colored and they have yellow or white stripes that run down the sides of their bodies and to top it all off, gold spots that dot their back. They have orange adhesive toe pads on their long toes that can be used to grip onto trees, hence their name. Males of this rare species are often territorial, usually making their presence known by making loud calls. Some even even aggressively shake plants as a show of force around other males in order to proclaim their territory. In the Philippines, demand for farmland and residential areas is rising, causing vast parts of the country's forest areas to be repurposed for human use, ultimately hurting the population of this rare frog species. They can be listed as classified on the IUCN as endangered as a result. Number 4. Philippine Spotted Deer This country not only has a mouse deer, but it also has a spotted deer. The nocturnal Philippine spotted deer is one of the country's three endemic deer species. They thrive primarily in the rainforests of the islands of Negros and Panay, but were previously found in other neighboring islands in the country. This rare species has a diet that consists of young shoots of coggin grass and young, low-growing leaves and buds which are abundant in the habitat this species is found in, the dense coggin grassland and forested areas. We sound like a broken record at this point, but this species has faced a dramatic reduction to its population, which has led to ongoing conservation efforts by local organizations. Conservationists are working to establish reservation areas on various other islands in hopes to save the unique species. Despite these efforts, it is estimated that only around 300 spotted deer remain in the wild. Number 3. Philippine Naked-Backed Fruit Bat The Philippine Naked-Backed Fruit Bat is one of the country's only endemic megabat species. These huge bats can be located in the caves of Negros Island and are sometimes spotted on the islands of Cebu as well, though the island of Negros is home to the majority of the inhabitants. Just like all species of fruit bats with a baked back, the Philippine naked-backed fruit bat has wings that connect at the midline of its body. When they glide across the sky, they are astonishingly agile. They prefer to live in forest limestone caves because these habitats Habitats are made up of native vegetation that is naturally open and shrubbery, perfect for the species. They also feed on the abaca, gabi, and coconut trees that grow in the nearby agricultural clearings. Their population has heavily declined due to deforestation and agricultural land clearing. Only about 60 hectares of the forested area remain for this species, all of which sits outside the protected Central Cebu National Park. Number 2. Philippine Forest Turtle Turtle. Known by many names, the Leyte Pond Turtle is native to the Philippines' Palawan Islands. Yes, that's right, despite being called the Leyte Pond Turtle, this species doesn't actually exist on Leyte Island. They have vertebral scutes that are shaped like ginkgo and exhibit a graduation of pale white to yellow coloring around their ears. It's why this species is also sometimes called the Bowtie Turtle. They are found to have a reddish-brown or black shell that sometimes features yellow patches. In adults, their shells are homogeneous golden color. They are omnivores which prefer aquatic plants but have been seen eating figs in the wild. They are mostly active in the early mornings and late evenings and are known to roam around throughout the night. Upon examination, they do not appear to enjoy sunbathing, though this might have been due to the fact that the subjects were in confinement. Philippine forest turtles do not do well in captivity because of their susceptibility to stress and the extremely aggressive territorial behavior of males. You're nearly at the end of our video. The Philippines is filled with a huge variety of unique creatures and can't 
all fit in one video. We're definitely producing more content about the Philippines, so make sure you're subscribed, okay? That way you will always be notified of our latest videos. Number 1. White-Winged Flying Fox found only in the country's tropical and subtropical forests, these bats have rich brown eyes, which are what makes them unique and sets them apart. Their body is covered with gray fur and a pale stripe. Starting from their head runs down their backs. White-winged flying foxes are one of the largest bat species on Earth, some of them reaching up to 5 feet in wingspan and a head and body length of 16 inches. The forelimb of this species measures 139.5 centimeters on average and they weigh roughly 300 40 grams on average. Though they are large, these bats are actually known as fruit bats. Since their diet mostly consists of nectar, pollen, and fruit, the population has dramatically dropped due to habitat loss and is expected to continue without intervention. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our wildlife playlist for more videos just like this one.